Hello, good morning, students. So, coming back to our practical classes. So, in today's experiment, I am going to show you the effect of various drugs on rabbit's eye. So, let's click on to this. So, here you will click to perform the virtual experiment. Click here. So, here you can see first. We are going to observe the various drug effects on rabbit eye. So here the direction provided is that install the drug on one by one and observe their effects on the rabbit eye and tabulate the data and draw conclusion. Let's quickly go to the instructions. So here the aim of the experiment is to determine the effects of a given drug on the size of the pupil, light reflex, intraocular tension of the animal eye. Overview is the iris is composed of two types of muscle fibers, circular and radial. The circular fibers are supplied by parasympathetic nerve fibers and the radial ones are innervated by sympathetic nerve fibers. So the stimulation of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves may lead to mydriasis and meiosis. So what is mydriasis? Dilation of pupil. And meiosis is smallening or shortening of the diameter of the pupil. Next is the materials used. Rabbit, rabbit holder, measuring scale, droppers, torch and cotton wool. Solution, normal saline, physostigmine, atropine sulfate, ephedrine, adrenal hydrochloride and lignocropene hydrochloride. These are the drugs that can be instilled. And lastly, the procedure that is measured the diameter of the pupil. Note the intraocular tension. Check out the light and corneal reflexes. Note down the readings. Keep one eye uh, either right or left as control on the other as test. Apply saline in the control eye and as a drug in the test eye. Take the readings and the diameter of the pupil of the eye. So these are the instructions that we need to be followed for performing this experiment. Next. Now, initially as a control, I am going to provide saline on my left eye. So, I selected saline from the drop down list and then I will click on inject and I will select the left eye. So, on selecting this, I can see that the pupil diameter is same. That means it is a control. Now, on the second hand, let me select a drug that is atropine, that is my experiment. Then inject the drug and this is on the right eye. So on injecting this atropine, you can see a prominent enlargement of the diameter. So in the table, if I provide it on saline, first I can obtain that the what is the size and what is the after size means before and after. Before you, the students are going to calculate the corneal diameter. And after the given of the anticholinergic drug atropine, the diameter. And that have to be written in this table. Next, let's select uh, another drug. Now this, as the pupil size is increased, so we can see that atropine is a mydriatic drug. That is dilation of the size of the pupil. Next, again, let's select a drug. Let's go to a return let's on the left eye selected saline inject drug left eye and on the right let's select another drug that is physostigmine inject and on the right eye so on injecting this physostigmine every one of you can see that how prominently the size of the diameter is enhanced and size of the diameter is lowered. So this is very evident which and we can also say that this is a myotic drug. Previous was a myotic and this is a myotic drug. So the size of the pupil is getting constricted and it was getting dilated. Similarly on the table you are going to write Saline, here the drug has been used, epinephrine. But here in our table, we are going to write two drugs, that is atropine and the physostigmine. 
Next, I am going to see what is the effect of drug. Now, let me put it in the saline once again. Inject drug. So, this has been put into saline and let me check this also. So, here no drugs are there. Let it be like this. Now, I am going to instill some saline inject left eye and apply the torch. So, on applying the torch, what I can see that there is no observation. There is no observation found. That is, this torch, what does it help? This torch helps us to know the pupillary reflex. You all can see it helps in determining the pupillary reflex. Reflex means how this pupil is reflecting. Next is the torch cotton that is used to check the, select and check the corneal reflex means the, how it is blinking. Corneal reflex is being checked. That is the blinking of the eye is being determined. So this way the effect of the torch, the cotton and the various drugs affecting the corneal and pupillary reflex is being demonstrated. Thank you for all of you to watching this video.